Can you beat Fallout 4 while only using a junk jet? Episode number 4. Starting off from last time when we just smacked the shit out of Kellogg for taking our child and heading straight back to Good Neighbor to go through his browsing history. And now it's time to see what weird shit he's been looking at and I guess also find out how to get into the institute to find my kid. But the first memory is just an incredibly depressing bedroom and a parent giving their son a gun at the age of bloody eight. America. Then after about 10 minutes of sad and useless memories, I find out that, well, they can teleport, which doesn't really help in any way, shape or form, but it was worth wasting 20 minutes on all this stuff though, right? But at least we did find out about this Virgil dude who was an old institute scientist and should be able to help us, so it's time for me to go and get him. But He's in the furthest place from where I possibly could go. And he's right in the middle of all the radiation in the fucking world. Like, just covered in radiation. I don't know how I'm supposed to survive this, but... Yeah. But it's time to start the run towards the end of the world. And hopefully there's not much in my way. But there was. Just way too much. For no reason, and way too much radiation, but that's alright. I had two radaways. Oh, no, 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 no. Ow! Shit. Oh! Fuck me! Oh, fuck! Run! Run! Ah! Oh my god. Thank god. I'm not dealing with no I can't beat a death claw, mate. And finally, after all that bullshit in the glowing sea, I finally make it to Virgil's place. That sucked. So after talking to big boy Virgil for a while, he tells me that he could figure out how to help me, but I have to do him a little favour first. I was kind of expecting a quick little handy under the table, but instead he wants me to go kill something called a Corsa, which is just basically a super powerful institute person who can go invisible so that's nice lovely so without wasting any time i head straight back to sanctuary and jump in my power armor i just need to kill these damn institute bastards as soon as i can so i can finally get through this damn mission and since i was already pretty close to the place where i need to go i didn't have to walk that far but after a brisk two minute walk i finally make it to the place and the first thing I see is a dead body. So, that's great. I'm very ready to go into this place and definitely not fight anyone. And the entire time I'm just listening to this one Corsa guy absolutely demolish the entire gang of gunners in this place. Which is a very good sign for me because he seems super easy to fight and not hard at all. But at least the bastard left some gunners to fight for me because... Why not? Then after about 15 minutes of constant gunners, like two, three legendary gunners, a bunch of turrets, one or two bloody ambush parties for the gunners, and just more and more and more gunners, I finally make it to the fucking Corsa after what felt like years, but the bastard finally gets caught and I absolutely murder the bastard. And now I'm not saying murder's necessarily a good thing, but this guy bloody deserved it. If he's going through the whole place, why not kill all the gunners, you asshole? I had to deal with that shit for so long. This, ugh, this junk jet's not good enough for that stuff, man. Fuck you, Corsa. And I teabagged his corpse, of course. The bloody bastard. Now all of that was over, finally, I decided to try and kill myself, but forgot I was wearing power armor, so I survived the fall. But, it was then time to go and sell everything I had scabbed from that entire building, including everything that damn course I had. But to continue the mission, I head straight back to the memory scientist lady, I don't know her name, and she tells me somehow she can go into people's memories and stuff and learn everything about that but she's not smart enough to figure out this damn chip 
So she sends me to the least technological of the three bloody factions to go figure this out. I don't know what the fuck she was smoking, but whatever. So it's time to go and find the bloody railroad. So because I forgot where it was, I have to follow this red line, which is the only part I remember. And there is just an ungodly amount of of damn super mutants and ghouls along this red line. They could have picked a better place. There's plenty of empty places in this game. But no. You bastards. Anyway. I nearly make it there. Get kamikaze by a suicide bomber. So I give it another try and I make it to the place. But for some reason their entire base is full of ghouls. Which would make sense if that wasn't like a real entrance or they had another secret one. But I swear they don't. I've never seen another one. So, nice. I don't know how those ghouls are still there if people are constantly going in and out. But, anyway. I sit there for about 10 minutes doing this damn railroad puzzle. I swear I did it right the first time. Then I had to look it up. Did the exact same thing. And I got it right. Don't know how that works. But whatever. I get inside, do a bunch of fucking talking, and some crackhead looks at the Corsa chip and figures it out pretty much immediately, which I don't know how, unless if he's a Corsa himself, but whatever. But now that I've got stuff figured out, I go to my boy Virgil and tell him about the good news. Except, apparently the Minutemen don't want to help me the Brotherhood don't want to yet, and I didn't check with the Railroad because they're dicks. So it's time to continue with the Brotherhood quest line because they have very helpful power armor and I don't want to verse them when the time comes. So I jump in their weird helicopter plane submarine car hybrid monstrosity and we're heading to the giant blimp that I saw flying over last time. And after about half an hour of mind-numbing dialogue running back and forth from Sanctuary in this place and a quick five minute break for crying because Australia lost in the World Cup, they send me on their first grunt mission because I am everyone's slave once again. I cannot wait to take over this thing if I possibly can because I will just send everyone to jump off the side of this fucking blimp. But anyway, my first mission is to go reclaim an entire armory full of weaponry and fat mans and all that stuff, which is guarded by super mutants and super mutant behemoths. And yeah, I get to do it all by myself. But at least I get to take out everything on the outside because I would not have been able to do that myself. Thank God there was a few helpers on that damn helicopter, because I would not have had a chance against that damn behemoth. God damn. And then I get down and make it inside the building where the armory is. Of course, it's full of super mutants. And not very easy ones at that. I was kind of hoping just for basic super mutants, because I could take those. But... The first big one I see is a legendary super mutant butcher, which has a little skull right next to its name. That means, don't come near me, don't go close to me, don't try fighting me, because I will fuck you up. But, because I have a mission to do, I have to try and kill it. And boy does it take me a while. All my stim packs, every piece of healing I have, but I finally get through, make it to the armory, finish the mission and I'll leave it there for now hopefully next time I can make it into the bloody Institute finally <laughs>